By 1942, Hitler's empire encompassed much of Europe, so the Germans already made plans for after the war. One of the most elaborate Nazi projects initiated in the newly conquered territories during this period of the war was the planned establishment of a greater Germanic Reich of the German nation. This future empire was to consist of, in addition to Greater Germany, virtually all of historically Germanic Europe, whose inhabitants the Nazis believed to be Aryan in nature. Countries such as Sweden, Denmark, Belgium, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands were to be wholly or at least partially incorporated into the Third Reich. France and the countries of the Balkans should remain in a state of constant subjugation, while certain parts of France should be annexed into the Third Reich. Even plans for an invasion of neutral Switzerland were already in the making. However, the most significant element of Nazi ideas for the reorganization of Europe and the world was the occupation of the Soviet Union and the elimination of some 30 million Slavs. Hitler wanted to conquer the country up to the Ural Mountains to create new living space for the Germans. Speaking about Western powers, Hitler saw Britain as a danger to his interests. After the Nazi invasion of Poland, the British declared war on Germany in 1939. Ultimately, it was clear to the Nazis that Britain would have to be subjugated entirely to maintain control of the European continent. Hitler held U.S. society in contempt, stating that insofar as there are any decent people in America, they are all of German origin. As early as 1928, he had claimed that National Socialist Germany must prepare for the ultimate struggle against the U.S. for hegemony. In mid-late 1941, Hitler became overconfident of an Axis victory in Europe against the UK and the Soviet Union and began planning an enormous extension of the Kriegsmarine. Defeating the United States would have solidified Germany's position as the only world superpower. After the German defeat at the Battle of Stalingrad, their plans lay in ruins and Hitler could only hope that a decisive victory on the Eastern Front might still preserve the Nazi regime. Hitler only acknowledged Germany's imminent defeat mere days before his suicide.